Hey guys, let's take a look on how to view a Tapu wireless CCTV camera on PC. As you can see, I have a Tapu C200 and also a Tapu C100, and they are running fine here on my PC via VLC and also using a different software here that works with the OnVIF protocol, okay? Let me just show that I have this first window. This one is the VLC, getting the stream from the Tapu C100. And then I have this other one here getting the stream from the Tapu C200, okay? Here on the top, you see the IP of the camera here as well. And here on the bottom, you see this Comlytics single. That's a software that works with the OnVIF protocol. And I can see the Tapu C100 and the Tapu C200 as well, okay? So you can use VLC to stream directly to your computer or you can use any software that's compatible with OnVIF, okay? I'm talking about OnVIF here a lot. OnVIF basically is a protocol, it's a universal protocol to work with security cameras. Here I have the software OnVIF device manager. When I run this software, for example, it looks for the OnVIF compatible cameras on the network. You see here that I have the C100 and the C200. And I just need to import here the username and the password to connect to the camera. In this case, I have the username for the Tapu C100. Then I can just come here and it gets a live video from the camera. There we go, using this OnVIF protocol, okay? So this software, the OnVIF device manager, is just to find the cameras on the network. You can also find the RTSP stream here that I'm going to use for VLC, as you can see here. For this camera is our TSP double colon backslash backslash the camera's IP and then double colon 554. That's the port for the RTSP connection and then stream one. You have different streamings that you can connect to the camera that brings different resolution. You can use stream one, for example. So if you have this command here, you can just use on VLC. Let me just show here basically how it works for this camera. And I can just minimize this. And let me just close both VLC here. And you, when you come here to the VLC player, you're just gonna go here to media, open network stream. And then let me just paste here. This one is going to get the video from the camera Topo C200, okay? When I click here, it's gonna ask for the username and password. They're gonna Tap here, Tapo Cam. That's the username that I have there on the camera. I'm gonna show you in a while, okay? How to create that. One, two, three, four, five, six is the password. So I just hit okay. I think I made a mistake here. Let me just double check. I think this is the other camera. Let me just put here Tapo C100. And then one, two, three, four, five, six. There we go, that's for the Tapu C100, okay? And then I can do the same for the other camera, okay? If I come here for the Tapu C200, open network stream, and here I'm gonna change the IP of the camera. No, that's, that's the one for the Tapu C200. I already have here 10.0.0.100 backslash stream one, okay? Just hit play, and then, no, this is Tapo Cam, and one, two, three, four, five, six, have the password, and it connects to the camera, I can just resize here, and it starts working, okay? So, to work with this VLC player, which is a free software, universal software, can just download from the internet, VLC media player, okay? You just need to go to the camera and create an account. So it's pretty simple. Let me just show you here. So you grab your phone, your Tapo app, and you go to the camera. Let's see, for example, the C C100. Then you come to settings and look for advanced settings. And here you have the account. And you just come here, enable the account, right? So camera account, just enable, and it's going to ask you for the username and password I already have here. So for this one, I created like a Tapo C100. Just pay attention to the name and uppercase, lowercase that you're using here. And the password I used one, two, three, four, five, six. 
you can use any password that you want and you're good to go. And back here, still on, on advanced settings, you see the network settings as well. So when you can, when you come here, you see the IP address of the camera. Usually your router is going to give the camera an IP address that you have here. And then I just tap here to make a static IP. So it doesn't change, all right? And then I have the IP address here with this information, the IP address of the camera and the RTSP stream, I can connect to the camera. So back here, you see this camera, for example, the IP is 10.0.0.0.10.0.0.100 backslash stream one. And for the other one is 10.0.0.195 stream one. Okay. So pretty simple with the software here. Let me just uh, delete this channel. So you see how it works. Basically is a software that you can download from the internet as well. Okay. It's a Canlytics single. So you can pay a license or you can use the free version with some limitations. I have the free version here. Then when you open the software, it's going to look for the cameras available on the internet that uses this OnViv protocol. You see that it searches and finds the camera. Let's say here, the C100. Okay, then you can, can come here and select camera events disabled because I'm using the free version. And then here, the stream recommended, you just proceed. And then it's going to ask the username and password. I already typed that before. That's the reason that's not asking anymore. But basically it connects to the camera the same way I can do with the VLC. But this is a software, so it's different. You can have more than one camera here, connect all of them. And see here have other cameras as well available on the network that works with this Canlytics software, okay? So this way you can have it working on your computer, okay? So pretty simple, but some uh, disadvantages here, for example, on VOC, I cannot control the PTZ because if I come to my cell phone here on the cell phone, I have the Tapo C100, which doesn't have any PTZ, but the Tapo C200, I can control the pan and tilt, right? If I just control here with the camera, I see that works. I just put it here in front of the computer. So you see that's working back there. You see a little bit of latency. It controls here from the phone and it controls back there, but you cannot control from the v VLC itself, right? But if you have just a fixed camera like the Topo C100, it's going to work fine and you're good to go, okay? So th those are alternatives to work with the cameras and some softwares allows you to connect to the camera and also control using the PTZ uh, feature, all right? So that's the way you can have your Tapo wireless CCTV camera working on a PC, okay? You can view them on a PC. That works for the Tapo C200 and the Tapo C100 or any other topo, you just need to enable the account and you're good to go. I hope this helps. Please leave your comments here. Do you work that way? Have you tried VLC before or any other software that works with the topo cameras? Please let me know. And also leave your thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. I see you in the next one.